moment, it seems. And uh, going to be able to fly with the safety of some cannons at his natural. Has some more Corsairs coming out, I believe. But doesn't seem really to have much in the way of uh, of army. Hydro's coming out as well now for Jadong, so could be seeing a heavy Hydro push as the game goes on. Some Zealots on the ground, some Nair's core upgrades. Might be weapons one on those Corsairs. Didn't see any additional um, tech coming up. More gateways now, but didn't see any additional tech. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Top Archives missed it the last time. Top Archives, so it might just be a ground build. Uh, might be a ground build. Does have some Dark Templars out there. Gonna go out there, just kill a couple of these Zerglings before, yeah, following Jadong spotting that. Force them back, but now Jadong knows that there's a DT out there. It's gonna have, yeah, already way ahead of me. Uh, sunken Colonies, Overlords over the Sunken Colonies, a little left-hand position. Um, of course, Han know about, knows about that now, but it's not really gonna be able to do much. Lurkers out in the field, so, so might be a range upgrade for the Dragoons, actually, rather with the build he's going for, probably range upgrade for the Goons. They're going to make finding lurkers significantly easier uh, range goons. So we're probably going to be seeing some zealot goon templar mix up as the game goes on. This just initial two DDs it is fairly standard. Some some protoss players skip this, but often protoss players go for a couple of DDs just to see if they can go out there and do some damage. But Han's going to have to trust some significant decent micro. They should get anything done. Jadong apparently trying to attack something from range. DT just running right into a button. A bunch of fire, not going to manage to do anything. A couple workers and a few zerglings out there trying to find an opening, maybe do something, trying to burrow outside of that cannon's range. Um, and do manage to do that. Just going to continue attacking the forge right now. Going to force a, a cannon to come up, maybe. And maybe even force the upgrade to cancel. Even that's already a, a small victory for Jadong. Just forcing a weapons 1 upgrade to be canceled. And it was weapons 1 on Corsairs, interesting enough. Uh, I've seen this from Protoss players. Well, rather, they go for the uh, High Templar in the open. Almost didn't, being killed. Blimey. But yeah, I do see sometimes weapons one, uh, uh, weapons one upgrade. Ah, one Corsair going down there, but do manage to go out there and hunt a few over. I do see weapons one on Corsairs, despite the fact that you're going for, you know, not Seri or just Corsairs alongside a ground army. I do see weapons one just to make it easier for the Corsairs to go out there and hunt some overlords, because it's still a significant advantage. If you're going to go for heavy, uh, heavy Corsairs, still pretty good to get that upgrade. Still feel he's going to need range on his Dragoons and get those Dragoons out there, because Dragoons, a good tool against... Uh, fairly good deal against lurkers and also effective against hydras in a large number. They can help against hydras though. And they're not uber effective against them, but they can still be a powerful force, especially if you have zealots alongside. Because right now he only has a bunch of zealots, no dragoons that I can see going for zealot, uh, going for zealot templar for what I can see, and that's not going to be really the best thing against a heavy amount of lurkers right here. Because zealots, sure they can damage them, but they take a huge amount. The lurkers are just going to damage all the zealots as they rip through the lurkers, and then you're just going to be facing a bunch of hydras, maybe with ha with all your shields gone and even damage to your health. So that's pretty bad. Still trying to go out there and damage and kill those overlords, trying to do some damage. Gonna try to go for an attack here lower left, and with a bunch of these zealots, this might actually accomplish something. There are a couple of sunken colonies here, bunch of hydras, forcing a cancel there in a building, but uh, I'm not quite sure if he's really going to be able to go with this. No high templar support. That attack fails even before it really starts. Bunch of Corsairs actually uh, trying to engage those huge amount of Scourge. Carapace, one of those Scourge, and actually going, what are you doing? Oh my freaking god. Are you kidding me? You were two steps away from a massive Scourge that could kill every your entire fleet, and you decide to go and hey, maybe I can kill the Solar despite the fact that all the Scourge that need to catch me and kill all my entire fleet of Corsairs can just kill me right there. Oh my god, the decision making there was non existent. Wow, what do you do for There's a gigantic threat to my fleet right next to me, but I'm gonna take a pit stop to kill an Overlord. Wow. Han gonna expand at the 9 o'clock position. Wow, that was stupid. Uh, Jeremy Wong gonna take up to Hive. I uh, think he might be. I think he might be thinking of picking up a base here at the six o'clock position, just to continue fighting. There's some zealots engaging a bunch of hydras and zerglings. That's no way, especially when you have zerglings at the front to act as meat shields for against the zealots. Are you kidding? Now he finally is one high temple out there, one storm that's going to force a run back. It's going to be another storm, another decent storm catching some hydras, but catching a bunch of the zealots as well. If you're going to storm, don't run your own troops into it. Losing one of his own high temple to storm, any more storms. Losing all of his high temple are getting some storms off. One nice storm there, a couple, one another storm that kills actually some of his probes. Oh man, Han loses all of his zealots and his just micromanagement, just micromanagement, decision making, just nowhere to be seen. 
Oh my god, I think Jadong's just... It seems like he picked a group of people that he just wants to kill. When you look at it, Han knocked him out of the OSL ages ago. He never got revenge, I think. Uh, Sky High, the guy that actually, you know, reverse all killed his team in the Winners League Finals uh, in 09. Our dark... What? A Dark Archon. That is your magnificent plan to get back into this game. Not macro up, not safely pick up additional base, not to go out and harass your player, go for a freaking Dark Archon. Wow. Never mind the lack of Mutalisks. Never mind the lack of spellcasters. Sure, the followers are on the way. And storming Zerglings while almost killing your old Templar. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm usually not very condescending towards, you know, some of these players. But I'm sorry, Han's decision making is just not where I want it to be. Jadong trying to pick up a fourth here at the six, I believe. And Han has his own third coming up. But he's d accomplished almost, aside from a few overlord snipes, he's accomplished almost nothing. Right there, right in the open, almost getting his Templar killed again. Thankfully had that shuttle. Gets his Dark Archon spotted just in case. Zealot's running over a bunch of lurkers. Uh, and almost getting his shuttle scourged. Jeez. Wow, yeah, I was saying Jadong just seemed to pick a group of people he hates. Sky High denying that. And Roro also a player that has beaten him, I think, a couple of times in the Pro League. So, just trying to get some overall revenge, saying, hey, I am gonna 2 0 oh, this freaking group. So, that's definitely what it wants to do. But yeah, Jadong gonna go for a Nexus kill. One Dark Swarm right on top of the cannons, another Dark Swarm, and yeah, Han just. GG's the second he spots that. Just. He, really, that game just seemed to be one fail after another fail by Han. One. Okay, the beginning was cool. Nice blockade. Managing only two. Oh, I need two Zergans to come through. But after that, just wow. <laughs> oh man, moving on deservedly mo moving on to the losers match where hopefully his decision making and micro will be a little bit better so we're gonna see how that, I'm usually not like this but damn that was bad <laughs> uh, so Jadang deservedly winning on, moving on to the winners and uh, his uh, opponent will be either Sky High or Roro and I'm gonna go commentate that right now, did you guys wrench on this thing what, the? what, was that actually no wait, let me do that again GG guys, wrenching out thanks for listening Hope you enjoyed. Right, I say those things all the time and then I mess them up. Joy.